Hi everyone, this is Neil with Fort Brox, and we are going to do a walkthrough today on KuCoin. Now KuCoin is a little bit different as it relates to trying to get your tax details of your buy and sell and your trade and those you might have staked or taken advantage of any of the rewards. So before we get into this, because it is a little bit of a doozy, we need to let you know some disclosures. We are not financial advisors, wealth managers, or brokers. Nothing we are sharing should be construed as investment advice by Fort Brox. None of the wallets or exchanges or services we reference is an endorsement of Fort Brox. We're merely sharing the information to be helpful to those who do choose to use these products and or services, nor yeah. we're representing any of the information provided on behalf of the companies or services we reference. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's dive into this. Where to go to login. Now, some of my information you won't see. One of the cooler parts that we like about KuCoin is that you can log in with your QR code. So I'm blocking out my QR code for obvious reasons, but we are going to log in because I'm logging in on KuCoin on my phone. And then I'm going to take a screenshot and there you go. You can see where you can tap in on your device. So what happens is, is another uh, view comes up and I'm going to show you right now. You're going to want to tap on authorize. And once you tap on authorize, it'll show you succeeded. You're logging in, you get a little notification on your phone. So, you know, we'll allow it. Let's allow this to happen. Now, obviously some of the information you're not going to see in my account, we're going to find the information on KuCoin because it takes a minute. I mean, it's not as simple as some of the other sites. Coinbase does an amazing job. Binance does a pretty good job. Uh, we're going to be having more walkthroughs, but in KuCoin, it'll take you to the last place you opened up. So if you go over to your profile, tap on it, mine's in a Neil Alonzo, it'll take you to the main page of everything. It'll ask me to allow again. I probably should have check marked the box, but I appreciate your patience with this. Now that we've clicked on our profile, we're going to go to download CSV. And I'm showing you this just so you know. So this is where all of the downloads you have available will show up. Obviously, you don't get to see all of my details, but this is where you can find the downloads that you've created. It's not where you go to create your downloads. It's where you go to actually download the reports that you've created. So to create a report, let's go to order history. Now. You go to this little notepad. You don't want spot orders. You want these down here. So let's go to spot trade history. Okay. So this is where it gets fun and tricky at the same time. Okay. You're going to click on export to CSV. Now you can click on seeing what you've done to see if you have anything in your um, reports that are available. I do have some stuff. Obviously you can't see all of my information, um, but Let's go to export to CSV. Okay. So this is where it gets kind of deceiving, right? It says you can export a CSV data for up to 100 days. The CSV export limit for each service is five times within 24 hours. Okay. That's going to get frustrating real quick, especially when you have a lot of stuff to download. So it says one year, right? Great. But you really have to heed this warning of 100 days because even though it gives you the option for one year, when I click confirm, I want to do it. Nope. The duration between the start time and the end time should not exceed 100 days. Fair enough. So what you're going to do, and this is what we recommend or what I recommend, because this is what I do. I move in quarters. So, you know, there's 12 months a year. So divide that by four and there you go. That's basically how it's going to be. So you get to move in 90 day increments. So you're going to want to create one for each. 90 day increments. So here we go from January over to the end of March. Boom. Click confirm. CSV is generating in process. Complete time may vary by size of the data. We will notify you as soon as the generate is complete. As you saw, it was generated fairly quick. So you're going to have to create four of these. This is your order history. Okay. Now it's not everything. So when you click on trade history, again, you're going to, to see if you have anything, you're going to want to tap on. It's not the most intuitive sometimes, but again, this, you would, 
go through and click export to CSV. Let me remind you five times within 24 hours. So if you did just your order history, that's four times because you did the full, you know, four quarters for the full year of 2021. So you have one more left that you can do. So you could do one of your trade history. These are separate. Why they're not combined? Uh, you know, I don't have a logical answer for that. So that's how you can get to your trade and your order history. You can also jump to them here. My, my apologies. Here, your spot. But this is how we got here. We got through it through our spot trade history. And you can cross over to your different accounts to see your order history. But everything's going to be located here in your spot, in your order history. So again, everything's going to be located in your order history for each one that you're jumping through. So you go to your order history, export CSV, isolated margin account, go to your order history, export to CFV, trade history. That's where you're going to find your reports. So again, that's where you're going for that. Now, if you want to find the specifics of your wallet on any of the tokens, let's go to wallet. Let's go to main account. Okay. So this is going to show you where everything's at within each one of those. Now you would think you would click on the deposit and withdrawal history, but that's not the case because it doesn't give you as much as you need. So I'll click on it for you so you can see it. So you, you would go here click one year and it'll show you what you think might be everything, your deposit withdrawal history, but it doesn't, it doesn't give you everything that you need for your deposits and withdrawals. It just doesn't not for the information that it relates to any type of a purchasing you've done. So if you go back to your main account, it'll show you what you have in your main account. But again, if you're a KuCoin user, you know that there, you keep stuff in different accounts, depending upon what type of, you know, actions you're taking with each one of the coins. So let's go to our trading account, for instance, and then here let's click on account details. So just to show, you know, we're fans of Toco. And this is where you're going to find all of your information on the coins that you have, and it'll show you what you have transferred, what you've exchanged. And this is where you're going to click on export to CSV. Keep in mind, again, you only can do this five times within 24 hours with the hundred day limit. So you're going to want to go through and do that for each one of your coins. If you want that information that granularly, but you don't necessarily have to do that if you don't need it that granular, but it's going to, how you're going to get the most amount of information from KuCoin for your tax preparation. So now you've seen how you can go through coin by coin. You've also seen how you can go through your spot trade history. And that's how you're really going to have to go through everything, download as much as you can to get the information you're going to need for your taxes. Now, obviously Coinbase and Binance provide better solutions and help as it relates to your transaction history and how you, you know, the information you need to file for your taxes, but. KuCoin does offer options. You're just going to have to work for it a little bit harder. Now, the ways to expedite that would be using a service such as CoinTracker, Coinly, TaxBit. Those are just some of the services that you can plug into and get this information. So while right now the regulations with KuCoin, and we're going to have this in the notes of this post, this video post, so you can please click through the links. We provided a great deal of information as far as what We've discovered by doing some due diligence with KuCoin and how they are or are not providing certain tax information, but this will at least help you get to where you're going. It's a lot more work. You know, we wish <laughs> it was a little simpler like other exchanges, but at the same time, it's such a new frontier. Everybody is, you know, earning while they're learning. And so, yeah, thank you. And if you have any questions or requests, please leave a comment. Uh, please share with others if you think that there's value that we're providing. And we thank you again.